spent 20 years trying to figure out how I make painting that isn't on a flat surface, that doesn't have a straight edge. I was never going to be happy using painting in a traditional manner. I'm trying to ride the line in the work between something that feels recognizable and something that is uncannily abstract. I was also looking at sort of utopian architectural inflatables, dramatic shifts of scale and thinking about ways that a small studio space could still be used to make something dramatically different in scale. With this piece, it was built site specifically. It is the biggest thing I've ever made to date. And I'm not trained as a, as a seamstress or anything like that. I'm making this stuff up as I go along. The experience of when you first inflate these things is that there will always be rips and, and seams will pop in the places that I haven't done it quite correctly. But I like that that becomes a part of the history of the of the, the life that the object is living. I also was really interested in this idea of a close encounter with a, both an art object and maybe a sort of body that has a sense of otherness. And I was really excited about the idea of having a kind of an aha moment in, in the gallery space. The atrium space has really pushed me to think at a scale that I had never had the opportunity to think about before. It also sort of allowed me a place for to, to think about how a viewer might interact with this object. I hope people laugh at it. I hope people kind of giggle and want to touch it, want to get to get as close as they can to it, are curious about looking inside it. I think humor and absurdity are really important in my work. I sort of want them to feel sort of both in awe of it and also willing to be able to see it in its most ridiculous form.